I recently bought the PS5 Pro console from eBay, but it was before release date and my interaction with the seller was very weird and sketchy. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you the whole story and take you through this wild experience. Now guys, this story starts a couple of days ago on Monday, November 4th, which is three days ahead of release date of the PS5 Pro, which is on Thursday the 7th. And basically on Monday, I'm scrolling through eBay like, hmm, can I somehow find a PS5 Pro that will arrive to me before release date so I can make an early video? And sure enough, I'm scrolling through and I, I find a listing that has seems to have like a real photo of a, a real PS5 Pro. And I'm like, hold on, does this guy actually have one in stock right now? And yeah, I click on the listing and I find that, yeah, it looks like a real PS5 Pro here, like a, a box in somebody's house. You can see there's actually a second PS5 Pro or maybe more in this box here, which we'll get to in, into later because that's a whole other layer to the story. It's very weird. But yeah, it looks like it's in a dude's house. And also when I saw the listing, it was $7.99, not $8.99. But anyways, I'm, I'm thinking like, if I can get this guy to ship overnight, I can have this on Tuesday and make an early unboxing video. So like I messaged the guy and I said, Say, do you have this console on hand ready to ship right now just trying to confirm and he says yes i have two left that is the actual picture of the system in in my house out of the box and i say okay gotcha what are the chances you can do overnight shipping so i could have it by tomorrow i see that right now you have shipping option as priority mail and if you look at that priority mail is 88 bucks which is going to take like two or three days and also why, why is 88 bucks that's an absurd price for priority mail um but then he says go to my other listing for overnight and i i look through his profile and i'm like i don't see another ps5 pro listing can you send me the link and i i try to also make it clear like I, i'm very serious i will buy this today if you ship it overnight so i can have it tomorrow um and then this is where it gets really sketchy uh, this is the first element of sketchiness there's there's multiple elements of sketchiness in this this whole situation but basically he sends me a link to another listing and i go click on the listing and sure enough it's another ps5 pro that appears to be the same one you can see uh, it's a really bright photo for whatever reason but it looks like it's in the same box two ps5 pros looks like it's the same house and everything but here's where it starts to get really strange I, I noticed it's a different seller selling this listing which like immediately i put my guard up i'm like oh no this this guy's trying to pull some crap on me it's, it's a scammer I, I don't know what he's doing here but whenever somebody sends you a link to another listing from another seller it, like something's going on there but man i really want this console early so i go back to the seller and we, we have some more messages he says if you pay now i'll ship it out now uh <laughs> There's another layer to the sketchiness. He says, the shipping comes out to 10 more bucks, but you can send me that later, which like, uh, no, it's not my fault. You're charging the wrong shipping rate on your listing. I'm not going to pay you after I buy it. But anyways, I gloss over that for now because I don't want to deal with that yet. But my next message is I just sent a message to the other listing on the other account. And, and basically what I'm getting at here is I don't want to be messaging seller number one when I'm buying a console from seller number two. Like I want all my, my message history to be in seller number two. So if there's a problem, I can go to eBay and show them the message history, that sort of thing. And so I go to seller number two, who is the one that has the overnight shipping. And I say, can you change your handling time to same day for this package? It says two business days right now. I will pay ASAP and buy the overnight shipping. We change the same day, this to same day handling. And essentially the issue here is if you go, if you go over the listing, which is this is again the listing on seller number two. You can see it is UPS next day air, but if you click on see more details, you can see the handling time is actually two business days. So if I bought it on Monday, this guy doesn't have to ship it out until Wednesday, which I mean, it means I get it on Thursday and like, there's no point in doing that because you can just buy it without buying it from eBay on, on Thursday. Like I can just buy it from Walmart or whatever. So I, I basically go to him. I was like trying to save myself in case he decides he's going to wait until the last minute possible to ship it. And then he responds with a message that has nothing to do with that, what I asked. And then he says, but like I say, every time I ship one of these overnight, eBay charges me 10 more than they charge you. So you have to send me that later. And again, I just ignore that because I'm not going to pay the guy later. And then I say, I can't buy it unless the handing time is the same day. Like I, I don't want to get screwed basically. And then at this point, he starts mes messaging again on seller number one's profile instead of seller number two. So basically it's the, it's the same guy messaging on two different accounts. It's, it's very weird. Um, so I go back over there and he says, I just responded. The guarantee is me telling you I'm gonna do it now if you pay it now. So like, I guess eBay could go to the message history and, and see that that's the guy is guaranteeing in his messages he'll do that. But again, put that guarantee in the other account. Like I don't want the guarantee on seller number one when I'm buying from seller number two, dude, come on. So I, I say, okay, can you send that message in the other account where you have it listed? And this is, dude, this is where it starts to get like, again, even more strange. The guy says, boss, it's on my girl's phone. You're wasting time. I'm leaving in 10 minutes to ship other items. If it's not paid for, then it'll be tomorrow no matter what. The shipping says, because I have to take it there now. Uh, and it says, I don't understand what else you want, want. By the time you stop playing, it'll be sold to a serious buyer, which is like definitely not true. Nobody else except for me is buying this over a hundred bucks, buying it early, paying a hundred dollars in shipping. Who else is doing this? Like, why would you do that? So I, I, I respond back to this guy like, dude, just send me the message there and I will buy it. Like, it, it's very strange. You're listing a PS5 Pro on another account with no feedback. I need some kind of guarantee that you're not going to, that I'm not getting screwed here. And I say, you know, I've been on eBay a long time. I, I, I know how these things go. And I know you're trying to scam me in some way. And then his response to that is it should show we sold two from that account already, which like, let's go back to it. It means nothing. You can see actually three have sold because I bought one but you have one feedback. His one feedback is from something he bought. Like he has no seller feedback. So like 
saying you sold something means nothing. You, you can sell a million things and still be scamming somebody. It doesn't give me any kind of guarantee. Then he also starts saying that his texts aren't going through. Uh, then again, he says you got 10 minutes to pay, which is 10 minutes after the first 10 minutes. So I actually have 20 minutes, <laughs> just a little tidbit. And he, this is one of the texts, the texts that apparently did not go through. He said, uh, there's another layer of sketchiness. He says, I have sold all the items I can for this month and it won't allow me to change the shipping on my account overnight. So I had to repost it elsewhere for the people that wanted it overnight, which is just like, maybe that's an eBay thing that also just, again, very, very strange that you're posting it on a, another account that has no feedback at all. And then eventually I'm just like, dude, screw it. I, I'm going to buy it. So I responded back. I, I said, I bought it. It says processing. You'll probably see it in a few minutes. Order says conf as confirmed now. And I sent that exact same thing on seller number two's profile, which is where I actually bought it from. And uh, then he responds back. Instead of responding back on seller number two, where I bought it from, he responds back on his main account, seller number one. Uh, sorry if it's getting confusing. I, ho I hope I'm not confusing you guys here, but it's just like, it's jumping back and forth a lot. I was getting, getting confused in this message history. But again, it gets weird because he says anyway the listing was revised with overnight shipping and price buy it if you want it and by the way this is where he actually went in and upped the price so i i, I paid 7.99 and right after i bought it he changed it to 850 i, I guess because he was trying to screw me like he's like oh this guy really wants it let me bump the price up 50 bucks and see if he pays for it and then i respond back this is after i bought it i respond back and i said i, I did buy it dot 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 like what are you what are you doing finally he responds back and says yo i'm shipping it now but it looks like it's an extra 17 to get to north carolina by tomorrow then he says you got to send me that in a few somehow zill cash app whatever but i'll holla when i'm at the up store and I, I basically said to the guy i'm like i'm not gonna send you cash outside ebay i paid the price ebay calculated it's, it's like it's not my fault that either ebay or you calculated the wrong pr price um then i follow up i'm like i'll tell you what if i actually get this console by tomorrow I, if it's a real ps5 pro i'll send you the extra 17 bucks because like dude stop playing with me man um and then he says bro i'm a legit businessman i don't i'm not here to play with you i told you before you brought <laughs> you bought the system for that some for that for some reason I'm being charged more for the shipping than the customer. I don't know why, but I never use this type of shipping. Whereas earlier he said he did use that type of shipping. So uh, scammer messages right there, man. But then he says, honestly, I just raised the price. So I don't have any further issues. If you want, I'll just refund you. And I, I again, I say, no, just, just ship it. I don't, uh, uh, like I said, I'll, if I receive it, I'll pay you extra 17 bucks. And eventually he says, I, I hear you. No worries. I'm shipping it now. And sure enough, he does ship it. And guys, oh my goodness. I'll show some footage on the screen, but this is where I actually got to the unboxing. Like it did arrive on Tuesday. I got it from the UPS man and holy crap when I brought it in like the package was annihilated. The dude literally wrapped it in inside out gift wrapping like like Christmas wrapping with no box or anything and he wrote fragile on it and he, he thought that'd do something but no the, the whole box is beat up torn up and the, the real kicker is the box was not sealed like the seal was broken and if you go back to the original listing you can see new not used new seal should not be broken on used console seal on new console seal broken on used console and so guys at this point i'm pretty mad because the console was not only open but also the console box is beat up so it's just not worth as much as i paid for it so i i, I basically opened a return request i was like I, you know i don't actually want to return it but let, let me just show you the request i put in and so guys here it is i put in a return request and i said it arrived damage now what i said in the message is i don't actually want to return it but i will if i have to i'm looking for some sort of partial refund because of the loss of the value of this console because of how it was shipped and sold by the seller this 800 dollars item plus 100 dollars of shipping i paid so it was over 900 dollars plus the tax it had no shipping box so the console box got severely damaged in transit which lowers the value of the console and the console was also opened, not brand new, like the listing stated, as seen in the photo attached. So I, I attached the photos here. You can see the seal is broken. You can see the, the console box is just beat up. And then this guy starts going crazy, sending me a bunch of messages. He says, boss, you wanted me to overnight the item for you. So I rushed it out right away using the shipping method you asked for. The system was brand new sealed. So why are you showing me pictures of the seal broken? What scheme are you trying to pull? <laughs> why are you wasting my time on the eBay with this? So now this guy's trying to say it's my fault that, that, that I paid. I only paid $110 for shipping, so I don't deserve a box. I don't deserve a shipping box. I, I just deserve inside out wrapping paper that says fragile on it. That's what I deserve. And then he keeps going, sending me more messages in a row, says it was not shipped in an extra box because it was already in a box marked fragile. <laughs> I can't, dude, you can't ship an $800 brand new console without a box and, and then put fragile on it and expect, expect it to not get beat up. This is your fault. Uh, he says, look, I don't know what you want, but we both know, know the system was brand new when you got it. So I don't understand what you want. And actually, I don't think it was brand new because the, the horizontal stands were not in the right place when I opened the box. And also there was some like crinkling around the, the, the paper that's wrapped around the console. So 
I know it's getting nitpicky, but I, I'm pretty sure this guy opened it up and messed around with it a little bit. Maybe didn't turn it on, but he, he touched something in there. Um, that's my theory. Maybe he didn't, but either way, it's your fault that it's open because you, you shipped it so horribly. He says, this is a pick of what I actually got after eBay and shipping, bro, so I don't know what to offer you without taking a huge loss. The seal's probably broken due to mishandling, but the system was brand new, open or used. It was broken due to mishandling because of your crappy shipping. Stop blaming this on other, pe other people, man. Like, I... I'm sorry if you take a huge loss. It's your own fault for not putting it in a box. This could have all been well and good if you put it in a real box. I will do my best to help you out, but I don't want to lose. What are you looking for? And he responds back again, says every other person that bought and received the system had zero complaints and it was sent the same way. So that, that's actually really bad that he was sending the same console to other people in the same condition. Like, I'm, I'm sorry for you guys. You need to put in a request as well. Like, it's just absurd for a guy to charge this much money for, for the console and shipping and not put it in a box. And he says, on top of that, I can't access my money because of this request, which like, again, I'm sorry, but like, it's not my fault. You did that. And then I send him back another message because I'm, I'm mad and I basically say like, it's your fault it's damaged. I want a $100 partial refund. And then he ends up sending me a $60 partial refund and says, you saw what I made of this deal and I paid $650 to the, for the systems. Can you meet me halfway with $60? Uh, so this gets into a whole other situation. He he paid $650 for these PS5 Pros that go for $700. Bucks. This is where it gets even sketchier. So guys, let's do some calculations here. And we'll start with 800 bucks, which is what I paid for the console. We'll just ignore the shipping and tax and all that kind of stuff. But 800 bucks uh, plus eBay fees are 13.25% on this. So let's just round it to 13%. And let's say he made $696 after fees on this uh, on the sale. Now, if you got this from a real retailer, he would have paid $700 for the PS5 Pro plus like probably about 50 extra bucks for the for tax that sort of thing. So let's take 696 minus 750 that he should have paid for it, and he's already lost 50 bucks just from the transaction fees. So like then I started thinking like how is this guy selling it for this? Like he's not making any money. And so like if this guy actually did pay 750 for these, there's no way he's actually taking a $50 loss by selling these. So like he definitely paid less than 750. And so if you go back and assume he actually did pay 650 for these things, like how did he get that much of a discount when he should be paying 750? Like here here's my thought. Did somebody down the line steal this console and then sell it to this guy for 650? And now this guy's like, "Oh, I can flip it on eBay for a little bit of profit." Uh, e either that or my other theory is that maybe he works for Best Buy or GameStop or something and maybe leveraged an employee discount. I don't know if you can do that on brand new consoles or not, but let me know down below if you got any ideas. So like, very weird. I I, I don't think this console was obtained legitimately. Maybe, maybe it was somehow in some loophole that I don't know about. And also let me know your thoughts on this partial refund. Should I accept 60 or should I try to get more? Or should I just return it? I don't know. Let me know down below. But guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. A very wild situation. I'll see you next time.